Today's topic is the rack and snail striking mechanism on an E. Howard and Company tower clock. The striking mechanism ensures that the bell tolls out the hours on the hour. Looking at the clock, we can see that the striking mechanism doubles the size of the clock. Here we have the clock mechanism on the left and the striking mechanism on the right. The striking mechanism consists of a train of wheels, a fan fly regulator, its own set of hanging weights, and a hammer to deliver the blow to the bell. First, let's look at how the striking mechanism is attached to the clock mechanism. There are two points of connection. The snail is on an axle that rotates once every 12 hours. The snail governs how much of the rack is used and thus how many strikes of the bell we get. We also have a cam on the axle that rotates once each hour that gradually raises a lever and allows it to drop exactly on the hour. So let's say it's 545. The striking mechanism is poised and ready for action. 350 pounds are pulling on the striking mechanism drum. Yet, the axles and wheels and arbors are still. They are all held in place by the lever that rides the cam on the clock mechanism. Just before 6, the lever drops the rack into position against the snail. The shape of the snail dictates how much rack is exposed. The highest shelf on the snail is one strike of the bell, and the deepest allows 12 strikes. The rack is now set. Each notch on the rack is one bell strike. We see six notches exposed. At 6 o'clock sharp, the lever drops off the cam, allowing the weight to rotate the drum. The gears jump into motion, slowed down by the fan fly. A pin in a wheel that rests on the rack grabs one tooth on the rack per rotation. For each tooth on the rack that is grabbed, a tooth of the great wheel raises a lever that lifts the hammer by pulling on a wire until the lever slips off the great wheel tooth, releasing the hammer to deliver its blow to the bell. This repeats with each bell strike until the mechanism runs out of teeth on the rack and the rotation halts as it is once again held in place by the cam lever. The rack has been pulled away from the snail. And yes, the weight still pulls on the drum, but the mechanism sits quietly waiting to be released into action by the lever on the next hour. That's it. That is a rack and snail striking mechanism on an E. Howard and Company tower clock.